donkey and his driver. A donkey being driven along the high road suddenly started off and bolted to the brink of a deep precipice. When he was in the act of throwing himself over, his owner, seizing him by the tail, endeavored to pull him back. The donkey persisted in his effort. The man let him go and said, Conquer, but conquer to your cost. Fools persist in their own way, even though it leads them to grief. The Gnat and the Lion I am not afraid of you, once said the Gnat to the Lion. You may be stronger than I, but I can conquer you, and all your cruel claws and sharp teeth will avail you nothing against my sting. Let us fight it out, here and now. Having sounded his buzzing challenge, he at once attacked the lion, whom he so enraged by stinging the most sensitive parts of his nose, eyes, and ears, that the beast roared in anguish, and maddened with pain, tore himself cruelly with his claws. All the attempts of the lion to crush the gnat were in vain, and the insect returned again and again to the charge. At last the poor beast lay exhausted and bleeding upon the ground, the gnat hovering over the spot and sounding a note of triumph, happened to come in the way of the web of a spider which, slight as it was, was enough to stop him in his career. His efforts to escape only fixed him more firmly in the toils, and he who had vanquished the lion became the prey of the spider. Victory is not always lasting. The Maid and the Pail of Milk A milkmaid, having been a good girl for a long time and careful in her work, was given a pail of new milk for herself. With the pail on her head, she was tripping gaily along to the house of the doctor, who was going to give a large party and wanted the milk. For this milk, thought she as she went, I shall get enough money to buy twenty of the eggs laid by our neighbor's fine fowls. These eggs I shall put under the mistress's old hen, and if only half the chicks grow up and thrive before the next fair time comes round, I shall be able to sell them for enough to buy a new gown, with maybe enough left to get that jacket I saw in the village the other day, and a hat and ribbons too, and when I go to the fair, how smart I shall be. All the young fellows will notice me, but when they come around, I shall just toss my head, and here the maid gave her head the toss she was thinking about. Down came the pail, and the milk ran out on to the ground. Goodbye now to eggs, chicken, gown, jacket, hat, ribbons, and all. Do not count your chickens before they are hatched. Bye.